Hello, my fellow hunters. Uh, this is Hiroshi Shaib, and this is Satoshi's Treasure Hunters with another Happy Clue Day! Yay! So, uh, there was a tweet, or I should say a, a Telegram post, which I, I talked about in the weekly update, in which Eric Moser said that the clues will be coming out faster. And sure enough, today, um, Juneteenth, uh, June 19th, uh, a clue has dropped, and it's called the Global Key. Uh, I really like this key. I like the fact that this key is out because it means that people are working on both the Room Key, which is a geolocation key where you have to go to the art exhibit and attain the uh, clue or passphrase, if you will, to unlock that key. Uh, the Cult Key, which is the you know another marketing uh, key, if you will, uh, is ongoing, and then you have this key. Uh, which is a bit of a puzzle key, if you will. Gives me a very much, you know, uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego vibes. Uh, I don't know if you if any of you remember that video game. Um, it was started out as a text adventure game. Uh, I know it became a PC game. I know it was a video game on, I believe it was Nintendo. Uh, it's now a Netflix television show. It was a PBS uh kind of like Jeopardy style game. I think that's what most people like around my age or maybe a bit younger remember it as it was a uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego uh, where you had to solve uh, basically puzzles if you will a door to attain a prize uh, chief one of my first chiefs if you will in my life uh, was from that game and then it was Chief O'Brien and then of course Master Chief uh, Great, great little uh, television program. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the clue. The global key. Okay, the global key. Uh, the clue is a grand tour. Released uh, June 19th, Juneteenth, here in the States. While laying clues, agents of the hunt did a lot of traveling, becoming familiar with the look of various locales, will be a valuable skill, valuable skill for any hunters. The first letter, non-capitalized, of the name of each city in these pictures left by agents in the is the password you need for the global key. So, and I just clicked on some random links here. So this is for global uh, key number 45. This kind of looks um, like in Brazil, just from the signs, if you will. Possibly. Um, this is the passphrase that you'll be able to decrypt. So if you go to here, this is where you get the passphrase. And then you have to click each image and find it. This right here is definitely Las Vegas. Uh, cathedral, I want to say New York. And look, is it copyright Kevin LL? Here's uh, another image, definitely kind of obviously European influenced. I wonder if this is a very iconic stairwell. Here, Ramadan, this kind of looks very like a Singapore-ish architecture, if you will, or style, could be totally wrong. This is where I get my um, Carmen San Diego vibes, uh, pool here. So if you're like really were into travel channels, traveled a lot yourself, uh, I'm not really positive unless um, like this is a very significant icon right here, uh, the Ramadan Hotel. If you're able to like reverse, global reverse a lot of these pictures, given the history in the past of these games, each of these pictures that have been shared have been unique to the particular um, clue itself. So it's it proven to be very difficult to global um, reverse and search some of the pictures that have been used. They've just been used once, you know, never shared, only into the moment that has been revealed to us. But there are a total of 45 images gonna click on another random one each letter of that particular image of that city 
And it has to be Tokyo. It's gotta be Tokyo. Right? Andreas. I think they give enough of a of a of a workaround, if you will, for us to be able to uh, find these um, the passphrase. I wonder if you find enough of it, if you can fill in the gaps, like uh, what's that show, Wheel of Fortune, where maybe you'll be able to plug in the letters, if you will, or use a um, some kind of dictionary or password phrase if you have enough of the letters to fill in the gaps um, if some of the pic if some of the pictures proven a little bit hard to find but there you go you can um, get at it with your clan with your group with your team or um, or as an individual and figure out each of the locations of these different places and uh, using non-capitalizing using the first letter of each city you will be able to um, unlock the global key. I imagine that, that, you know, given the size of different clans, that this will be solved rather quickly, at least by the end of the day. Um, if I were to have one single critique, I wish there was maybe a, a, a geolocation uh, component to the clue, where if you happen to go to the same location as the photo is taken, maybe there might be a QR code, like might be like a hidden mini hunt or a hidden clue um that's just my thing i hope that there is another uh, key dropped uh, or another clue drop if you will um sometime this week be even before the completion of this particular clue i think that if there's more clues that people have to work on it generates momentum for the game it gets people excited particularly if there are different varieties of puzzles for people to solve for example the earth key and the bone key have not yet been solved as of yet uh, uh, the room key uh, while it has been found is still able to be found by lots of other people the clan key of course went to the uh, to so Toshi cipher clan um, they will release that key uh, when they choose to do so um, the cult key is ongoing right now so people are like spamming if you will to obtain the points to obtain the u very unique key for that and then, so, you know, the bone key, the earth key are very, like, cryptographic focused puzzles. Uh, the cult and clan key were very, like, clan, you know, like one of the, the uh, keys say, very clan-centric, where you had to gather people and figure stuff out. The room key was another kind of, you know, clan-centric, where you had to reach out within your clan network and get someone to go to a physical geo, you know, a geolocation. And um, this one, again, is, um, I want to say cryptographic centric, but it's a puzzle still you have to figure out and uh, either using your own personal knowledge, the knowledge of your group, or um, Google searches to figure out the different um, cities within this given, the different given locations. So that's it. Uh, have fun out there, hunters. Uh, here's to more clue drops, here's to more keys, here's to get some more momentum going and get forward on this game and get some, you know, real progress going on here. Uh, this total of what, 14 keys, technically 16 out there, if you will. Um, out of the 400 needed, you know, minimum to unlock the uh, private key, uh, unlock the public address so which doesn't mean that at 400 that's the, that's the end we can go all the way to 500 600 because some clues might not be solved but hey we're we're kind of getting along we're kind of moving along here so that's good so again happy clue day this is Rosa Shive with Stoshi Treasure Hunters and on with the hunt <laughs>